A classical education at its heart is an education of the whole person. Particularly in an educational environment where we've put so much emphasis on a kind of narrow definition of productivity, we have to get back in touch with that which moves the spirit. I remember one time in the middle of a discussion of the Boston Massacre, my sixth grade student just looks at me and says, Miss Lane, is this why you teach history? And I said, what do you mean? She said, because it's fascinating. The greatest human happiness is not about having more, but it's about looking more deeply at the world. If you have more, you have more questions. What does it mean to be a good citizen? What does it take to develop virtue? Why would anyone die in battle? Why would you fight? What is honor? Is virtue greater than life? Students are asking, how should I relate to nature, to the rest of the cosmos? Everything that we talk about goes back to what does it mean to be human? I think we're all looking deeply for something bigger than ourselves. There's got to be something transcendent. And I think students know that deeply. A classical educator fosters this love of inquiry by being a co-learner with the student, by doing their best to meet them where they are. And there's nothing condescending about this because the classical educator actually is learning. Teachers come to us because they see a community that's been built around the great ideas and they want to be part of it. They sit down with their students and they say to them, look at this world that I've come to love. I want you uh, to step into the world with me. What's so great about the classical education program at the University of Dallas is that the university's leadership and its professors understand that the work that they do is really in service to what the teachers at the K-12 level are doing. The program at the University of Dallas gives our teachers a sense of purpose and helps them to renew their commitment to the life of the mind. A lot of the teachers are doing this because they know it will help them to become better teachers, but also they are still curious. They want to be students again. We get to have class with people who teach K-12. So it's fascinating hearing what a kindergarten teacher has to say about the Republic and what a 12th grade teacher has to say. One of them teaches the Republic, one of them doesn't. But the question of what is just and what is a human being is relevant to every classroom. The search for truth can never become old and it also is never predictable. And that's the great joy of being a teacher in the classical model of education. I, I'm simply spoiled for life.